Hi everybody, this is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers YouTube channel, which is what you're watching now, the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group, and the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. Now today is our Crafting with BB Craft third video from our 10th um, shipment, I guess you would call it, so I'm calling this video 10-3. And um, we always do three per shipment, so this is our last one for this series. But, of course, we'll have another series. We'll have 11 coming up uh, very soon for you. I um, took out of the things that we got, if you want to look at the uh, unboxing, you'll see everything that we got. And um, But I took the stack of 50 papers, and they're all custom. They're so cool. Hand, this handmade paper. This has got snowflakes on it. Just all kinds of different textures and um, colors. It looks like we're going a little bit towards the pink and purple theme, burgundy and white and cream. Okay, so that's what this set is. There's more than one set, I think, but you get 50 sheets for just a few dollars. It's not very expensive at all. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. So today we're going to experiment with these types of papers doing a couple things um, and I've never worked with this type of material before. So we will both be experimenting together. So I'm going to set this aside. This is what I pulled out to use. Oopsie, come here. Okay, so I pulled these papers to use, this pink, okay, along with this white, like popcorn paper, that's what we're going to call it. This, um, this t feels like tissue paper, but it's all crinkled up. Can you see the texture? Probably not, because the camera's not going to focus on the, on the white. Um... This textured paper, it's in pink. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera what color it is. Here, I'll hold it up against the uh, big envelope. So you can see the color. Then I found this piece of vellum paper in my stash. So this is vellum. It's real pretty. It looks prettier in person than it does on camera because on camera, to me, it looks a little dull. There's two sides. This is the brighter side. Okay? Obviously, there's two sides. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> Duh! So, what we're going to do, this is a 6 by 9 envelope. Now, to do this project, I would probably cut the flap off, but I'm not going to, um, just in case you're going to use it in a, in a situation where you're going to leave it on. But you can just easily use your paper trimmer and go right along this uh, seam right here and just whack this little puppy off. In fact, since this is my project, I think I'm going to. Because I don't want it on there. What we're going to do is we're going to make an envelope that you can put inside your journal. Now. Let me see if I can get this lined up. Apparently, I'm not very good at lining up envelopes to cut off the flap. Okay, so now you've got the opening here for the envelope. Oh, you know, I was going to get my sponge sugar out, my ink, or my um, oxide, which is a little bit darker. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it on the envelope. It's very hard to see sponge sugar. That's the only thing. I love the color, but it is um, difficult to see. I forgot to go through and check and see if I had maybe a lighter green that would match, but I think green would be too dark, so I think the pink is the way to go. Um, let me get... Hmm. Let me see what color this does on my piece of paper that I rub up. Oh, it doesn't look like there's really anything on this pad. Alright. I 
some kind of brown on it. Okay, I'm going to get a fresh one. I'm going to get a regular one since I'm probably not going to use it very much. And I have two domed ones left that I'm hoarding. Probably for um, another one for my browns. <clears throat> so put that scrap paper, paper away. Let's try out our sponge sugar and see if we can see it against this white. I hope so. I love the color on and I'm not a pink person. This really doesn't look pinky pink. Oh yeah, we can see it on the white. Probably can't see it at home, but I can see it. Um, let me get this piece of paper and see if I can. Oh yeah, it looks like lipstick. Oh, you could probably use worn lipstick as well. That probably would be kind of a little bit of a rosier pink for you. I like worn lipstick as well. So I'm inking, I'm using this paper to protect the back side of the inside of the envelope so that I can ink around the inside front. There we go. But I've never worked with these type of uh, papers before. Kind of excited to see how it turns out. Um, number one, I don't have to ink them. <laughs> number two, something I've never done before. So I like that. Sometimes you have to kind of go over twice with a color to get the effect you want, which is what I'm having to do with this one. That's what kind of irritates me with certain colors and so I kind of tend not to use them even though I like them. I just don't want to have to do everything twice to um, be able to see it. And flip it over and do the other side. I'm going to decorate both sides. I've planned ahead. And I believe this is an eight and a half by eleven, so cut in half at five and a half is not going to cover this six inch wide um, envelope. Oh, bad noise! But that's okay. That is okay. We don't need it to. It's not required. A white border with our little pink ink. Um, it's probably just what we want. Sorry if I realized that this was going to take so long and I was going to have to do it two or three times. I would have inked it ahead of time. I should have known. Sorry. And now for the inking video. <laughs> okay. You can go back and ink it some more if you like. Now I'm going to call this side the front because you can see the dip and the pocket and everything. So that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be the front. So we're going to take this paper and we're going to cut it in half. So at five and a half, we're going to cut it. We should have two pieces of paper the same size. And we don't. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Alright, so we'll put this one to five and a half. Just a little teeny bit extra. Having a fun time cutting vellum on my rotary trimmer. Okay, so there's two pieces the same size. Now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue because um, I've never had a problem with it. Um, 
like making big glomps that you can see. However, we may have that issue on here because I've never used, I've never worked with vellum before. Now I've worked on it with acetate and you just smush it out and you don't see it. Um, and I've worked with, um, there was something else. Hmm. Maybe it was vellum, but it was white. I don't know. But we're going to glue this paper onto here. And we're going to hope for the best. we're going to put it on here and we're just going to kind of evenly come on paper cooperate put our border all the way around the paper let's see if we can move it down a little bit There we go. That's better. Okay, now I didn't cut it in a semicircle because the paper isn't long enough. If the paper had been a little bit longer, then I would have um, put the paper inside and then drawn a line on it. Take the paper out and then you cut the semicircle out and then the paper will fit on the front here. So that's the trick to that. Okay, now we're going to glue the other side on. See, you can't can't see the fabric tack at all. So, on a side note, fabric tack with vellum. Yeah, my Okay. Now, which is the bright? That's the brighter side. So, we want to ink this side. I didn't even check the other one, I just happened to get lucky. But it really brightens up on the white. I just thought this would be something fun and relatively quick that we could do. And make a pretty little envelope to put in your journal. Now we're going to decorate both sides, but you can decorate just one side and glue it in instead of doing two sides and either using an extra piece of paper and make it a flip out or um, just tucking it in, say the center or something. Okay. Remember closer to the bottom and centered on the page about there oh we can't do that on this side we need to make it even get up that extra glue from where I slid the paper now, if you need to, you can get out your glue eraser. Okay, so we've got this on this side. I don't know how I managed to do that because I had the envelope turned upside down. Okay, so now on the front, we're going to take um, this paper, well, we're going to do this first. I'm going to try with this paper 
to do a die cutting. So I got out my big book. I have three of these of die. And they come with these, you can buy these nifty insert pieces, the pages. These have two with one at the bottom. Some of them are different. But I have butterflies, dragonflies, flowers. I was gonna do a couple of long, thin flowers, but I was afraid with the stems that it would be too narrow. And I think, you know, with the uh, butterflies, most of them, it would be too intricate. Um, so anyway, I just flipped through here until I found what I wanted. This is an excellent way to store your die. You can see them. Um, you can only store them on one side, though. They're, there's, not the, there's not a pocket on both sides. Okay. So that's where I found my die that I was going to use and it's this really pretty flower now this is six inches wide so it'll fit right through the um, big shot so we're gonna try and experiment and see if it'll work with this paper now I'm gonna put this flat side on the same side as I put the die with the blade, okay? This is my theory that it will be smoother and easier to cut on the flatter side. Kind of makes sense in a funny sort of way. So this is the way I'm going to put it through the big shot. And I've got the two uh, clear plates I've got the thinlet plate on there and then the big thick white one that comes with it. The thinlet one usually comes with it as well and these two white clear ones. Two white clear ones. The two clear ones as well. Now, oh, seems to be running through there all right. I hope it cuts out because it, if it does, it'll be really pretty. Looks like it did. Look at that. If it hadn't torn right there, we would have had a perfect crooked oval. <laughs> it did cut it out. Let's see if I can get it out without tearing it. Okay, so all I have left is the flowers to get out. This seemed to cut out or push out fairly easily. So we will see if that will also come out easily. Let me get my pokey tool. I've also got a toothbrush and I've got that little brush thingy with the mat, the foam mat. But I think with this, I don't think I want to be that rough with it. I think I just want to delicately poke where the little holes are to push it out. Looks like it's working. That way I can be delicate with the stems. If I can hit the hole. There we go. My little eyeballs are not working properly, apparently. Well, apparently my speech is slurred as well. A little too much coffee. Okay, poke these out with the pokey tool. I wonder if I can just pull it out at this point now that I've got the skinny stems poked out.
yeah I think it's the oval around the outside that we have to be careful with ah look at that how pretty is that ta-da very nice let's see if I've got here we go so this is what it looks like very pretty now I could take one of my um, crayons my Tim Holtz crayons um, that have the same as the um, the ink colors and I could uh, watercolor the flowers I'm sure but I don't have time but the tissue paper I'm sure would take the watercolor very nicely okay so we're gonna put this against this pink on the cover but we're not gonna just lay it on here because I don't know it just covers this up too much so what I want to do is I want to put it in the corner and then I want to just cut this piece out and we'll make a tuck out of it okay I wonder if I can draw with my pencil on it say we want to go here sure I can okay and then I want to go Just make sure you're making your line where this pink tissue is. You know, not the threads. The threads are not going to do you any good. Now let's see if I can cut this on the paper trimmer. I should be able to. Because I can't cut a straight line to save my life. So let's see if we can cut it on here. Sure we did. So now we've got this beautiful piece of paper left over. And where was my width? I don't see my other mark. Oh, there it is. Just make sure to hold down your guard real tight. So that's that, and that gives me that. That's that little teeny piece of um, vellum we had. Okay, we don't need the pokey tool anymore. <clears throat> So we want this to be a pocket. So we don't want to glue this on here while it's on here because the glue is going to go through. So what I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm just going to do it on my glass mat. And then just pick it up and flip it over and let the glue dry. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, is there a good side and a bad side? Yes, there's the flat side. Do we want that to be the side out? No, I think I want the textured side to be the front. So we'll put the glue on the back, which is going to be easier too because this is the flat tissue paper side. So I'm going to glue the flowers. I'm not going to try to go around and glue that little oval don't think it's gonna go anywhere I'm 
Well. It's working now. Okay. Well, that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. That has a bad side or a flat side. The fibers are more on the front, so we want to make sure we're using the good side to the good side here. And I'm going to try to put it in the center as much as possible. And we'll kind of mush it down. Oh, that's pretty. very pretty okay then we're going to take it and glue it to the front of this right here as a big tuck we're going to glue it to the corner of the um, envelope I think because that will give us just that little bit of extra room then putting it up here might look a little funny hmm I don't know That glued on here really well without the glue coming through, I might add. I think I like it well, but this way you see that it's below. Okay, we're going to glue it even with the... Um, vellum so let's try to glue this stuff we'll try to glue it on the tissue paper parts oh I glued the wrong edge so we're going to put it on this side <laughs> all righty then then you can make your card out of some specialty paper like maybe this paper if you had another piece um, and um, tuck it in. So this is what the front looks like. It's pretty. And we're going to flip it over very carefully. Then on the back, wow, sparkle would look pretty on this. Um, we're going to make A belly band with this over it. Now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put this over the whole page as a lift up. Do you know what I mean? Like glue it up here so that you can lift it up and then and see the belly band underneath, right? And see it and the card through this little popcorn mesh paper or Am I going to cut the paper and put it on top of the uh, belly band? You know, on top of the pink paper that makes the belly band. So, I'm not sure what I want to do. kind of like the idea. I 
I still kind of like the idea of the flip up. I've never really done that before, so I'd rather do something I hadn't done before. So let's cut um, a strip about um about this wide And we'll glue it on as a belly band. So now we've got this left over along with these pieces. Those would be pretty together on something. This particular case, I will save my scraps. Even this would make a pretty stripe on there. Maybe it would make a pretty stripe on here. if we did that it would line right up with the papers oh all right I'm convinced let's see if we can run a little bead of glue down here I'm kind of having fun what about you guys I'm not kind of having fun I'm having fun working with materials that I've never worked with before I can't believe I've never tried vellum before, but I haven't. I've always been kind of afraid of it. I like that it's thicker than tissue paper. I thought it was going to be more like tissue paper and be really hard to work with. Let's glue it on here, and it doesn't matter which way we put it. We can always just flip the whole thing over. But I think this is the way that it goes. Yeah, and I glued the dull side. Whew. I'd have thought we could have made it a double belly band, but I don't think this is strong enough to hold. You know what I mean? Another card. Well, I think that's about as straight as I can eyeball it. So then we'll take this put glue across here glue across there Now we want it this way Yeah, because there's the flowers Here's the flowers. Okay. It works with this paper too, the Fabri Tac. Then all you have to do is make a card that fits underneath there. Possibly a green one would look good. I just don't have any green paper. Then I want to lay this popcorn paper over the top of it and so when you just lift it up you see the um, belly band. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it like it. I love the popcorn paper. 
It's a bit like a little plastic mesh with these little plastic popcorns on them. It looks like this. It's very cool. So, do I leave this like this? No, I want to I want to put this on. Okay. Since we're using the white, you can still see through it or the, it's almost it's clear with the white popcornies little popcorns. So what I'm going to do is instead of trying to glue this paper, I'm going to put the glue across the top here. Now I need to put it right across where the plastic or the pink stripe is. Otherwise it'll be too short. If I glue it, put the bead of glue right above it, then the paper will be too short at the bottom and it won't look it won't look right. So we're just going to put the bead of glue across this pink stripe and it'll be right on top of this uh, belly band and it'll be fine. This is our top, correct? Yes. Oh goodness. stand up for this one. I think I'm going to line it up down here. Hold it. Well, it's a little bit wider. And drop it down on the glue. Then it's going to take a while to dry. Make sure it's straight. Looks like this piece of paper is crooked. You know, it was cut crooked, which is a okay. I got a little extra glue up here. I'll just wait for it to dry and use my glue eraser on it. So I'm going to put this down and get glue on my fingers, but that's okay. Use the gluing tool, the extra gluing tool that you have with you wherever you go. All right, so I think that looks cool. The camera focus yet? I can't tell. And then you lift this up. You gotta be careful because it's still wet. But you lift this up, and there's your belly band with your card. I like it. Now, if we weren't using an envelope, if we were just using a page, what I would do is I would put a brad in. It's too far down for us to do. I would put a brad in and put one of those little pieces that looks like a uh, latch and swing it over and put it over the top of this to hold that down. Then you would swing it out of the way especially you would have to go this way because there's a popcorn in the way right there. Swing it down out of the way and then you'd be able to lift your paper. And I think that would be the best way to do it, to keep the paper from swinging. In a book it wouldn't matter, I don't think, but on this, if you were going to give it as a card, in a book if you were going to use this as a freestanding in a book and not just um, a page in a book. Let me move this over. Before the glue really gets stuck. It looks like it's not lined up on that one side. Yeah, I should have double checked. It looks like it's cut crooked. There we go. I'm going to push 
too hard. I don't want to push off my little popcorns. I lost one right there. I lost one in the war. And be careful with these little fibers too. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Move all this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to call it done. Now you could put another um, die, on, die cut on this side. That would be pretty too. And glue it to this, bef the uh, popcorn paper before you glue it down. That would have been a great idea. Once this glue is dry, you could open it up like this and lay it down, you know, and glue um, a die cut to it if you forgot, like I did. I could still do it. Um, I could still use some of this paper from the front and make a pocket on here. That's another good idea. And then you take the card out and then you flip it up and then you've got the card underneath. You could do that. And the card would cover this. You wouldn't know. You know what I mean? You take the card out and then you see the popcorn and then you see that there's a, something underneath and then you lift it up and there's your other card. I like that idea. Okay, so that's what that would look like. Oops, there's the center. Okay, all right, well, that's this side. This is this side. I really like this side. You could put a border or something up here. Well, not that, that's too much of that. Maybe a thin border of this paper up here would be pretty. Something, if you wanted to, to kind of balance it out top to bottom. Remember to put a card inside here. Okay, so that's how you do that. So I'm going to call this the end of the video. And I'm going to tell you about BB Craft. You go to bbcraft.com and underneath this video is a list of everything that I got in the um, unboxing. And then you can click on each one of those and go directly to that item in BB Craft. Or you can click on the just the general BB Craft link and it will have um, a question a question mark S equals um, Sweet Pea, I think it is. Anyway, you'll know it when you see it. And that will take you to the home page with a 10% discount. Automatically figured in for you. Okay? So either one, whichever way you want to go, um, they're inexpensive. So if you just go to the direct object, that's fine. Um, you still will get a great value. And then don't forget to go over to the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group and the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. We have a lot of fun stuff going on over there. And um, on Sunday, we have Say Hello Sunday. We say hello to all our new members. Um, we take Monday off. Tuesday is YouTube Tuesday. You can post your YouTube channels. Um, then Wednesday, we take another rest. And then Thursday is Etsy Thursday, Etsy, Ko-Fi, whatever Thursday. You can post your shop for everybody to see a, a link. And then Friday is Freebie Friday and Saturday's show at Saturday. So we have fun over there at both groups. And you can post your videos anytime you want as long as they're paper craft related. Anyway, and fun to be had by all. You can go to BB Craft and get some supplies and make something with your supplies and then post your pics on one of the Facebook groups. That would be the best. Okay? All right, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.